Oh man. So what now? Frisk, I have to go now. With all the power of everyone's souls, I can't keep maintaining this form. In a little while, I'll turn back into a flower. I'll stop being myself. I'll stop being able to feel love again. So, Frisk, it's best if you just forget about me, okay? Just go be with people who love you. This is so depressing. Huh. Huh. I don't want to let go. God, this is so depressing. Frisk, you're... You're going to do a great job, okay? No matter what you do, everyone will be there for you, okay? Well, my time is running out. Goodbye. <sighs> By the way, Frisk, take care of Mom and Dad for me, okay? Frisk! This is all just a bad dream. Please, wake up. Oh, everybody. Oh, you are awake. Thank goodness. W we were so worried. It felt like you were out forever. Yeah, any longer and I would have freaked out. Tell us next time you decide to take a nap, okay? Yeah, you do. You may you may prepare us cry like a baby. What? I didn't cry. I didn't. I don't cry. I just caught something in my eye. What did you catch? Tears. <laughs> now, now. The important part is that Frisk is all right. Here, Frisk. Why not drink some tea? It'll make you feel better. Er, how about we give them space first? They must be very exhausted. Though, from what I am not certain, Frisk, we do not remember exactly what happened. There was a flower, and then everything went white. But now, the barrier is gone. When you are ready, we will all return to the surface. It seems the door to the east will lead us there. But before then, perhaps you might want to take a walk? You can say goodbye to all your wonderful friends. Do as you wish. We will all wait for you here. Alright. Let's go to Snowden. See everybody's doing it Snowden. Let's do that. Alright. So, wow. So it turns out this is Frisk, not Daniel. We're not we're not this person. So Daniel was Azriel's friend who fell down here a long time ago. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Man, that's so weird. But I didn't really expect to fight Azriel. Like I knew he'd be a boss, but I didn't like. I don't know. I just. I don't know. Whenever it was happening, I didn't really realize it was happening because I didn't know Flowey was Azriel. Like, wow. Oh, oh, some guy in the comments, uh, Luke Sorensen, I think, uh, said to go all the way back to where the to where Flowey is. So, like, after the pacifist ending, so I think I'm gonna go do that. So, yeah, uh, I'm gonna go all the way back there, and I'll be right back, okay? Alright, see you guys there. I guess on the way back, we can talk to some people. Undyne told us that the Royal Guard is being disbanded. Like, bummer. Guess we'll have to get used to love and peace. He seems happy. Oh, this guy got his dress, finally. Metaton, he recognized my voice from when I called in, and... He, he gave me his dress, I'm so... <laughs> Alright, he's happy. Mafei, what do you got to say, dude? 
Bonjour, dearie. I just finished tallying up all of our donations. We finally raised enough to rescue all the spiders inside of the ruins. And we'll be able to afford a spider baseball field. We've already got the baseball donuts ready. You were funny earlier in the game. Let's see what you say now. Oh, we're free? Finally, I'll be able to stop smiling. <laughs> Looks like I don't have to worry about cracking jokes anymore. I was going to say a joke here, but I really don't have one. Alright. <laughs> the yellow guy! I heard Dr. Alphys told the king and queen the awful things she'd done. The king felt so bad that he didn't know. He gave her a big hug. Then the queen fired her. Now we don't have a royal scientist anymore. That's politics. <laughs> Yo, what's up? I've been kind of doing some thinking. Maybe Undyne isn't actually as cool as we thought. She's just kind of... Uh, I don't know what it said, but yo, I just found out someone. Uh, I just found out about someone way cooler. Papyrus. Uh, wow. Okay. Okay. So apparently, like, it involves something to do with after the game. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave that there for now. And yeah. But this is one of the earlier enemies we fought. So let's talk to him. Everyone's leaving, eh? Good riddance. Maybe I'll finally get some peace and quiet. <laughs> he just wants to stay here, man. That's kind of lonely. Alright. Oh man, let's talk to you. We're all free? Okay, okay. I'll stop lounging around. Does that dog know? It probably doesn't. Does it? I don't know, man. I don't know if you guys remember this, but earlier in the game we got a snowman. And I was just wondering if there's any significance to that, because he asked us to take him around and show him the world and stuff like that, so... I don't know. I don't know what that has to do with anything, but if you guys know what to do about that, leave it in the comments, uh, like always. So, thanks. Oh man, what, what's going on here? The doctor, she brought my wife back from the dead. My son, he seems happy again. Our family, it's bigger than ever. <laughs> now that my wife is combined with 16 other people. Snow E okay. Mom might have to share her mind with other people now, but she's still my mom. And that's cool. <gasps> oh. oh, that's the experiment from Alphys. Oh, Azriel. <sighs> Alright. Oh, the golden flowers. I didn't realize that. Alright, Ezreal. Don't worry about me. Someone has to take care of these flowers. Frisk, please leave me alone. I can't come back. I just can't, okay? I don't want to break their hearts all over again. It's better if they never see me. Why are you still here? Are you, tr are you trying to keep me company? Frisk. Hey. Let me ask you a question. Frisk, why did you come here? Everyone knows the legend, right? Travelers who climb Mount Ebbet are said to disappear. Frisk, why would you ever climb a mountain like that? Was it foolishness? Was it fate? Or was it because you... Well, only you know the answer, don't you? I know why Daniel climbed the mountain. It wasn't for a very happy reason. Frisk, I'll be honest with you. Daniel hated humanity. Why they did, they why they did, they never talked about it. But they felt very strongly about that. Frisk, you really are different from Daniel. In fact, though you have similar uh, fashion choices, I don't know why I ever acted like you were the same person. Maybe the truth is, Daniel wasn't really the greatest person. Well, Frisk, you're the type of friend I wish I always had. So, maybe I was kind of projecting a little bit? Let's be honest, I did some weird stuff as a flower. <laughs> yeah, you did. There's one last thing I feel like I should tell you. Frisk, when Daniel and I combined our souls together, the control over our body was actually split between us. They were the one, they were the one that picked up their own empty body, and then when we got to the village, they were the one that wanted to use our full power. I was the one that, I was the one that resisted. And then, because of me, we... Well, that's why I ended up at Flower. Frisk. This whole time, I've blamed myself for that decision. 
That's why I adopted the horrible view of the world. Kill or be killed. But now, after meeting you? Frisk, I don't regret that decision anymore. I did the right thing. If I killed those humans, we would have had to wage war against all of humanity. And in the end, everyone went free, right? I still feel kind of sad knowing how long it took. So maybe it wasn't a perfect decision. But you can't regret hard choices your whole life, right? Well, not that I have much of a life left. But that's besides the point. Frisk, thank you for listening to me. You should really go be with your friends now, okay? Oh, and please. In the future, if you, uh, see me, don't think of it as me, okay? I just want you to remember me like this. Someone that was your friend for a little while. Oh, and Frisk, be careful in the outside world, okay? Despite what everyone thinks, it's not as nice as it is, it's not as nice as it is here. There are a lot of flowies out there, and not everyone can be resolved by just being nice. Frisk, don't kill and don't be killed. All right, that's the best you can. You, that's the best you can strive for. Well, see ya. Frisk, don't you have anything better to do? Frisk, no, I don't want to leave you, Azrael. I don't want to leave you. Well... Wait, what is this? Man... Well, we gotta leave him. Alright, time to go back on the long trick back. Wow, this is gonna take forever. Alright, this is it. We're about to say goodbye. Hello, Frisk. I almost upgraded my phone. I'm having a lot of fun with the texting feature. Sans, check out this one. Oh man, Tori. That's brutal. I can't believe the queen has returned. And also that she's a huge dork. You two are two feet away from each other. Why are you texting? Worry not, Papyrus. We are texting for a good reason. Why is that? Well, because we're huge dorks. Sans, please do not say that. You are not a dork. You are more of a bonehead. Haha, <laughs> wow. Those puns are even less funny coming from her. <laughs> then why are you smiling? It's a pity smile. Oh, man. Oh, crap. Crap. I didn't read your text. No, 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 no. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have time to talk, Frisk. I'm supposed to be working right now. But you weren't working. I know, and it's talking. It's taking all my concentration. Okay, I just skipped all that text. Wow. So, Frisk, how about making me a member of the Royal Guard? Or, Undyne, I mean. Or, no, he said Asgore. Well, Papyrus, now that the war is over, we might not need the Royal Guard anymore. What? Then what was the point of the human's quest? They journeyed all that way, and I'm still not, an, and I'm still not a member of the Royal Guard? Truly, this is the worst possible ending. <laughs> So, Asgore, what do you want to know? What, what do you want to do now that we're all free? We have the whole world to explore now. Or Alphys, I mean. But, well, of course I'm gonna go out and. Um. No, I should be honest. I'm gonna stay inside and watch anime like a total loser. <laughs> That's the spirit. Everyone, a celebration to being losers. <laughs> Papyrus has the right idea. Losing to Frisk is the best thing to ever happen to me. So I'm glad that we... Huh? What is it, Asgore? Um... What's in... Anime? <laughs> oh my god. Frisk, please. Help me explain what anime is to Asgore. Y you see, it's like a cartoon, but... With swords. With guns. With swords. So it's like a cartoon, but with swords? Golly! That sounds neato. <laughs> neato. Where is this? Where can I see the the anime, I guess? Hold on. Uh, I think I have some on my phone. Here. L look at this. Oh, uh... Um, that's the... That's the wrong... Uh, never mind. Golly. Were those two robots... Kissing? Boy. Technology sure is something. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it sure is. Oh my god, Alphys, that is disgusting, man. Psst, fr frisk. 
Um, you gotta tell me, do, do you think Asgore and Toriel are, uh, ever gonna get back together? Yeah? Y yeah Yeah, that's what I hope too. Just think about how cute they must have been together. It's quickly becoming my number one ship of all time, <laughs> Tori and Gory. My, my old boss and his ex-wife. Uh, that sounds a lot less cool all of a sudden. <laughs> Honestly, Frisk, sorry about almost trying to take your soul. I feel very bad about it. I hope we can still be pals. Hey, don't worry about it, Asgore. I think I skipped your text. Oh, I see. In that case, I'm not sorry, Frisk. But Asgore, that's not what I meant. Okay. Uh, now that we aren't fighting each other, I can finally ask you. Would you like a cup of tea? Oh my god, Asgore. Would you like a cup of tea? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, well, uh, actually, the cup I had is cold now. So you shouldn't have it. Okay. But, I am so happy that you said yes. As soon as I can, I'll make some more for you. Then, we can be great pals. Alright. So, with that... We're gonna say goodbye. To all the people we've ever met in here, in the underground. Well, uh, it, it's been a fun game. But, it's time to say goodbye. If you leave here... Your adventure will really be over. Your friends will follow you out the underground. Don't leave. No, I don't want to, man. But we got to, you know? We gotta go. Your friends will follow you. Let's go! I'm ready. <sighs> Is he gonna show me something? I mean, I wanna see something. Oh. Oh my. Isn't it beautiful? Everyone? Wow, it's even better than on TV. Way better. Frisk, you live with this? The sunlight is so nice and the air is so fresh. I really feel alive. Hey Sands, what's that giant ball? We call that the sun, my friend. That's the sun? Wow. I can't believe I'm finally meeting the sun. I could stand here and watch this for hours. I yes, it's beautiful, is it not? But we should really think about what comes next. Oh, right. Everyone, this is the beginning of a bright new future. An era of peace between humans and monsters. Frisk, I have something to ask of you. Will you act as our ambassador to the humans? Be the ambassador? Yeah, of course. Yeah, Frisk will be the ambassador. And I, the Great Papyrus, will be the best mascot. <laughs> I'll go make I'll go make a good first impression. No, no. Welp. Someone's gotta keep him from getting into trouble. See you guys. Man, do I have to do everything? Papyrus, wait! Hey, Undyne, wait up. Whoops. <laughs> so there goes all of our people. Uh, should I do something? Well, gotta go. Alright, Toriel, just, just me and you. Seems that everyone is quite eager to set off. Frisk, you came from this world, right? So you must have a place to return to, do you not? What will you do now? I want to stay with you. I want to stay with you, Toriel. What? Frisk, you really are a funny child. If you had said that earlier, none of this would have happened. It is a good thing you took the challenge so long to change your mind. Or is it is a good thing you took so long to change your mind. <laughs> well, uh, I suppose, if you really do not have any other place to go, I will do my best to take care of you for as long as you need. Alright? Now, come along. Everyone is waiting for us. 
What about Sans? He's all by himself. Hey, he'll be fine. Huh. So that... That's it. So that's the true ending of Undertale. Frog it by Toby. Whimsum by Toby. Professional Frog. Still a bit guilty. <laughs> Mold Small by Toby. Looks by Timmy. Reformed Bully. Found a new cave. Oh, cool, it's telling us what happened. Vegetoid by Toby and Timmy. Popular nutritionist casually enjoys life. Naps to book. Spooky DJ. <laughs> Alright. So. Oh. Oh my god. Papyrus, what are you doing? And Sans. <laughs> Special inspiration. Alright. Snow Drake. Magnolia. Alright, what do you do, Snow Drake? In Ice Cap. Semi successful comedian. Thinking about its hat. <laughs> Gift Trot. Finding peace and quiet, Dajo has his own seeing eye dog. Dog Amy and Dog Aressa. Finally, number one nose, nose nuzzle championships. Or champions, I mean. Lesser dog. Searching for affection. Greater dog. Excited by life's changes. <laughs> Alright, Undyne. Oh my god, the octopus guy! Designed by Toby. Armored by Timmy. Fashion hope. Alphys. Oh, uh, <laughs> they're so nice together. Alphys and Undyne, I mean. But the little, the little squid guy. What is that? Oh my God. I, oh man, I wish I talked to him. Oh well. Aaron reluctantly, still flexing, wistfully adjusting to city life. Wosha, legendary janitor. Timmy, Timmy, <laughs> uh, Mad Dummy, and the Shiren, what do they do? Change it into Angry Dummy. Taking piano lessons again. Oh, Meditsun, what do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Meditsun, Napstablook, Shiren, and who is that in the bushes? <laughs> oh, well. Oh? Oh? Whoa, are you gonna transform? Okay, never mind. Alright. So, what happened to him? I'd actually, I really would like to know. Uh, Vulcan, Encouraging Space Heater, Sunderplane, a new student at art, new student in art school, oh, Sunderplane, I mean. Pyrope, Candle in the World's Largest Birthday Cake Muffet, Spider Success with a New Bakery, Ro Royal Guards, Use Your Imagination. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Final Frog It. Giving life its own meaning, the long battle finally ending. Okay. A astigmatism, do domineering, domineering glasses seller, uh, magic street magician, night night taking a well deserved nap, a amalgamates, living with their families. That's nice. Huh, Asgore. Monster Kid. He doesn't have a name, just Monster Kid? Really? Oh, Doriel. So they did get remarried. Well, I'm guessing they did. I don't know. Alright. So. The end. Well, I, I sure do... What? What? No. No! No, 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 not this creepy crap. It's 2 a.m. in the morning. Not this creepy stuff. Please, no. No, 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 no. No. Did you really think it was over? I mean, we haven't even done the special thanks yet. Ready? Let's end all of this for good. What? What? Oh! 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 <laughs> oh, that's so nice. That scared me for a minute. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I thought it was gonna do something scary, man. I was, man, that really creeped me out. Okay. Uh, dang it. Cause the the only way to get through that door thing was to not hit any names in this thing. So that's not happening, I guess. All right. You know what, let's try to hit as many as we can then. If, if we're not going to get it, then let's try to hit as many as we can. Alright. Yeah, it's that's not possible to not hit any names. I don't know about that. Well, maybe. Maybe it's possible. I don't know. If you're, if you're terrible at Undertale, then... Yeah, uh, it's not happening. Because I'm terrible at this game. <laughs> <laughs> all right and uh, yeah that 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 never happened ever well <laughs> well this this was a fun game I liked it and even though it was kind of sad uh, I can't imagine how much sadder the genocide ending will be if that's the case. Yeah, there, there's no way to avoid all the names. There's no way. Because if that's what you're supposed to do to open that door uh, that I was at like 30 minutes ago, then yeah, that's not happening. Oh, speaking of minutes ago, uh, I don't know how I'm going to do all this. Uh, touched credits. Oh, wow, I didn't get that many. To be honest, I, I really didn't get that many. Okay. Um, but... Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to do that. Okay. Thanks to friends and family for supporting us in Undertale team. Thanks you. Thank thanks you, the player from the bottom of our hearts. Without you, all of this would be impossible. Good night. Yeah, you sure to give me a good scare. I thought Azriel was gonna kill me. Or erase my save file or do that crap that Flowey did. Oh? Toriel? Oh, she's gonna give us the pie. Just like in... Well, that was nice. The end. Alright, well, that's the end of Undertale. Well, the pacifist route, at least. Man, I'm really, really not excited for this genocide one. I'm kind of reconsidering it now. I don't know. I, I don't want to, like, record my reactions because, like, I, I'm, I'm really attached to these characters, man. Like, I love all of them. And I just... I can't kill them. What is this? Hi. Seems as if everyone is perfectly happy. Monsters have returned to the surface. Peace and prosperity will rule across the land. Take a deep breath. There's nothing left to worry about. No. No, 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 no. I'm taking my earphones out right now. I'm not having this creepy stuff. Well, there is one thing. One last threat. One being with the power to erase everything. Everything everyone's worked so hard for. You know who I'm talking about, don't you? That's right. I'm talking about you. You still have the power to reset everything. Toriel, Sans, Asgore, Alphys, Papyrus, Undyne. If you so choose, everyone will be ripped from this timeline and sent back before all of this ever happened. Nobody will remember anything. You'll be able to do whatever you want. That power. I know that power. That's the power you were fighting to stop, wasn't it? The power that I wanted to use. But now? The idea of resetting everything? I... I don't think I could do it all again. Not after that. So please. Just let them go. Let Frisk be happy. Let Frisk live their life. But... If I can't change your mind... If you do end up erasing everything, you have to erase my memories too. I'm sorry. You've probably heard this a hundred times already, haven't you? Well, that's all. See you later.
Daniel? Alright. So, uh, that's it. Oh, a true reset. Alright, we'll find out what that does in the next episode of Undertale. And that's going to be the beginning of genocide. I'm not excited for it. Um, because I've, I've made an attachment to every character in the game. So, yeah. Alright guys, well, it's been fun. Had a lot of fun doing this. And we're about to have... We're going to have a bad time. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm aware. I made a joke, yes. So, I'll see you guys later on the next Undertale episode. See you then.